I'm Virginia Applebaum. I've lived in the district for going on 16 years. And in the time that I've lived here, I have come to love the area. I love the people in it. I love the environment. I'm here today to voice my opposition to the proposed prison in Briarfield. No one that I've talked to in Briarfield or the district supports this prison. And it is so important that the people are heard on this and that those in Montgomery listen to us. Even if there were any possible way the math could work on this issue, it does not address the issues of murder, abuse, and staffing that were the concerns of the Department of Justice. It just moves it to a different building. The building is going to be built roughly where I'm standing now. Yeah, this, this is the site. It makes no sense from a fiscal standpoint, and it doesn't even address the problems. Prisons are for profit. Profiting off human misery is never a good thing, and that is what they do. Now, this is controversial, but the numbers bear out that black people are incarcerated at a disproportionately higher rate and with disproportionate severity. Inmate labor is actually slave labor. So let this sink in, roll it around a little bit, because what we're discussing is the enslavement of black people in the 21st century. That's another aspect of this that I find important. To address the concerns of the Department of Justice, we don't need mega prisons, we don't need for-profit prisons. We need criminal justice reform. An easy way to accomplish this, a way that makes sense, is to repeal Alabama's Habitual Offender Act. Under that act, there are people who can spend the rest of their lives in prison without parole for nonviolent offenses. The third strike law is the simplest way to alleviate the overcrowding that the DOJ noted was the root of our problems. What can we do? We can be vocal. We can contact our local governments and press them for action, press them for opposition. Attend the county commission meetings. Attend the city council meetings. Write, call, email the governor and your representative.